So today I want to talk about the Yellow Hornet. This is a jig. Uh, as you can see, I've already been using it a little bit. I'm going to actually set it down. This thing is solid steel and it is quite heavy. I was very surprised at how heavy it was. But I decided to go with this Yellow Hornet uh, as a jig for a grinder and I did end up going with a Milwaukee grinder. Got it at Home Depot. They had them on sale. Um, there was cheaper ones than this uh, and you could get just a basic grinder. They do send a balancer along with it. Uh, this comes free. Uh, this is the basic balancer that you see on Amazon for like a couple bucks. So don't expect much out of it. I think it'll definitely do the job. Uh, it's a lot better than the nail that I used to use. So I will be using this uh, along with my new jig. When I was asking people about what I should get and things like that, a lot of people were talking about these really expensive grinders. Uh, guys, I think those things are awesome. I looked at one whenever I was at Brian's shop. He has one. Uh, that thing is awesome. Uh, I'm just not in a place where I can spend that much money uh, just to sharpen blades. I need to put that money somewhere else in my company right now to continue growing. So I decided the Yellow Hornet is a great way to save money but still get that proper angle that we need on these mower blades. I can already say that one of the negative things that I've seen with this thing is how messy it is. It does get it all over everywhere. I saw where some of these other units they have like a uh, catch to catch some of this grindings but uh, this thing doesn't have that. I'm going to try to see if I can come up with a way to rig something up to catch some of this grinding mess. Definitely say the build quality on this thing is outstanding. Uh, it has really good welds on it. It's real heavy. Uh, I wish I had a scale I could put it on but I would say it's probably 10 pounds to 15 pounds something like that. Um, so the construction of it, I feel like it's very heavy duty and it's going to last for a long time. Now with these grinding wheels, I did end up trying three different ones. I started at an 80 grit. It was taking me a long time to grind it down and get that edge that I wanted on my blades. Now what I have on there right now is a 60 grit. It is working really good. I also picked up a 40 grit to try that. Um, I think this is going to take off too much material too fast. Uh, or I think you'd have to be really careful if you were using these 40 grit. So now let's get into uh, putting it together and getting it set up. Uh, it's a real easy process. You can have it set up in you know just a matter of minutes. The setup on this unit is quite easy. It comes with this pipe clamp that you thread through here and that's what you use to lock in your grinder. You'll start by getting your grinder inside the pipe clamp and start to get it locked down. Once you get it about where you want it, you just kind of want to snug it down so that you can make adjustments on the grinder. As you can see, the grinder does not set parallel with the jig. You do want that slight angle so that you can feed your blade into the grinding wheel. To get the proper angle of the grinder, you want a quarter of an inch or less gap between your grinding wheel and your jig. You also want your grinding wheel a half an inch to three quarters of an inch above the blade rest. Once you have all your measurements correct, all that's left to do is tighten it down. And that is all it takes to set this jig up and have it ready to sharpen blades. I ended up spending about $220 on the jig and the grinder. Uh, I think that wasn't too bad. If you've already got a grinder, the jig alone is $149 and about $11 to ship. I ended up spending an extra $60 on the grinder because I wanted the grinder to have a locking trigger. On this Milwaukee grinder, the switch is actually on the back. And because of the way the jig is made, as you can see, this rod kind of gets in the way of the switch. 
It still can be easily turned on and off, but if there is another brand of grinder that has a switch on the side, it would be more convenient to use with this jig. Overall, I give this setup two thumbs up. Uh, I think it's a perfect starter setup. It's definitely cheaper to get into than some of these bigger units. I definitely think it works perfect for a guy my size. It goes a lot faster than just using the angle grinder with the blade locked into the vise. The other thing with using the vise and the angle grinder is you're not always keeping that nice clean angle. Uh, you're actually eating up the blade a little more. With using this jig, it should keep me in that same groove every single time, which should make the blades last a little longer because I'm keeping that proper edge. So if you're looking at purchasing a blade sharpener, I would definitely suggest that you take a look at this Yellow Hornet. I think it's a good option that is going to be much cheaper for you than some of the other things out there. It is raining and it's probably running all the audio. Oh my god. To me, it sounds really loud. It's probably really loud.